Frankfurt is well known as the financial heart of Germany. Housing institutions such as the European Central Bank, the German Federal Bank and the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, as well as several large commercial banks. The city also stands out as a transport hub. Frankfurt Airport is one of the busiest in the world and the train station here in Frankfurt is one of the biggest terminals in Europe. But Frankfurt is so much more than the capital of finance and an airport. It is a vibrant and cosmopolitan city, home to over 700,000 people. And it was as recently as 2022 elected as the seventh most livable city in the world by the British Economist magazine. And today we are here to explore this modern metropolis for Deutsche Welle travel. So come with us. Known as the gateway to Europe, Frankfurt sits on the Main River, and it is the only city in Germany with a skyline dominated by skyscrapers and tall buildings. This view here is very easily recognizable and gave the city nicknames such as the Manhattan of Germany or the Manhattan, since the skyline looks more like a North American city than an European one. But Frankfurt is not only made of tall glass buildings, it is actually a city of contrasts. From the high rises to the half-timbered houses in the old town, the city's history is alive to rebuilding and restoration, despite fires, wars and occupations. And even though we are in one of the biggest trading capitals of Europe, there's also a relaxed atmosphere around us here by the river on this beautiful summer day. So we are going to enjoy a stroll by the Main River, exploring the city and its many attractions within walking distance. Today, we will eat and drink as the Frankfurters do and feast our eyes on beautiful historical buildings. But first, we will climb to the top of a skyscraper to get the impression of the city's modern side. And to feel the magnitude of Frankfurt, the best way is going 200 meters up in 20 seconds to the top of the Main Tower and is the best option to check the city's skyline. One may say the Main Tower is your main option for that. This building, which is one of the tallest in the region, offers tourists the unique opportunity to see the city from above, since the Main Tower is the only skyscraper in Frankfurt offering public access to the observation deck. Tourists from all over the world come here to see the whole city and get a very different perspective than the one you get only by walking down the streets. From up here, the massive buildings seem even taller and more impressive. But not everywhere you look you see skyscrapers, and our next destination is far from futuristic. The old Sachsenhausen district attracts many visitors with its historical timber-framed houses and narrow paths, but the apple wine pubs are for sure the main attraction. Sachsenhausen used to serve as Frankfurt's fish, fruit and vegetable supplier, remaining a village until the end of the 19th century. Back in the 16th century, many vineyards were transformed into fruit orchards, which subsequently made more and more wine taverns transition to apple wine pubs in the area. Colloquially known here as the Ebelwei, the apple wine has been Frankfurt's most popular beverage for over 250 years. Locals traditionally enjoy it served in a beautiful grey jug with blue designs, commonly referred as the Bembel, and drink it from a special rivet glass known as the Gerippte. Usually visitors trying this for the first time they can shake a little bit because it can be too sour for some people, but if it is too sour for you, you can always cut it with a little bit of water. It's no problem, it's very traditional as well. When we talk about food, we have this very famous appetizer here, that's Handkäse mit Musik. It's a cheese with pickled onions and caraway seeds. You can eat it with bread and butter, that's the, the normal version. You can also eat without the bread, that's what I'm going to do after the bread is over. <laughs> but it's very good, I have tried this before in the Rhine region and they have it in Frankfurt too. Another very typical dish is the green sauce, made from fresh garden herbs and sour cream and usually served cold with jack potatoes and hard-boiled eggs. But you can also eat it with a nice schnitzel, as the sauce is very herby and fresh, going very well with a deep-fried dish. A walk through Frankfurt's old town allows us an exciting look to the city's history through its architecture. The contrast between old and new, the past and the present, is what makes Frankfurt special today. Frankfurt's center was almost completely destroyed in World War II. 
which cleared space for new buildings. And that is why we have such modern complexes here. But not all was made new, some parts of the old town were reconstructed as they used to be. Before the Second World War, Frankfurt was well known for its historical city center, with a magnificent collection of half-timbered houses, which were rebuilt in 1986 according to historic plans. And just across the main square, the Homenberg and the old town hall, were rebuilt as they were when Frankfurt reconstructed the heart of its old town from 2012 to 2018 as part of a major architectural project. The so-called New Frankfurt Old Town, also known as the Dom Homa Quarter, was rebuilt with great care and attention to detail. In some cases, part of the original houses were even used. That is why most of what you see in the region looks historic but is in fact brand new. Right in the heart of Frankfurt, we can also find the Klein Market Hall, literally called the Little Market Hall, even though it can be hardly called small with its more than 150 stalls and a diverse range of goods with all kinds of fresh food, spices, flowers and plants. The 1,500 square meters hall offers visitors regional specialties, such as the green sauce, together with imported foods from all over the world, making this place a real culinary paradise. And if you get hungry after tasting all there is to taste in each stall, you can try some of the freshly prepared delicacies on site, like the most famous sausage in town, on Frau Schreiber's stand. Considered an institution in Frankfurt, the line that forms in front of Metzgerei Schreiber at any time proves its fame. This is one of the most typical and beloved snacks around. There are four types of sausage together with artisanal mustard and a sliced bread. So she does have many options, but I did went for the recommended Gelbwurst, so the yellow sausage. The yellow mustard is spicy, the sausage itself is very tender, very juicy, it's a great combination and that's why they eat it so much here in Germany. It just makes sense. Frankfurt is a city of remarkable diversity, where big banks and businesses coexist in harmony with culture and tradition. Whether you're coming for travel or for work, or maybe both, I don't know your schedule. One thing is for sure, Manhattan has something for everybody to enjoy. And if you enjoyed spending this day with us, leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to Deutsche Welle Travel.